Hey, thanks for stopping by the Fit and Free Show. I'm Angel. It's a beautiful day here in the Head Hut. And by request, I thought I would do a short seated stretching session. And as usual, I invite you to join me to whatever degree feels good in your body. I encourage you to explore and play and also listen to your own body. As you can see from my rap, I uh, don't always do a perfect job of that myself. I think it's always a work in progress, so um, it doesn't help to beat ourselves up mentally or physically. I can attest to that. Ah, and it does help to make letting go and de-stressing and stretching and checking in with the body and listening a regular part of our routines. Uh, and I say routines because I think perhaps up until recently I had it in my head that those checks were part of a routine, singular, like my daily self-care routine. And recently I'm realizing that um, I'm hesitating because I've realized this before, but I'm realizing in a new way that it's so important to bring that aspect into all our other routines. The <sighs> reminder to breathe and let go and relax and smile. Um, things like this injury come about and most disease and tension and pain comes from or most pain comes from tension most inflammation comes from uh, accumulation of tension so the more we can remember to let go and relax and de-stress the less we're going to accumulate those tensions and disease and live in flow and ease those are my those are my morning thoughts this morning all that said i'm going to take a breath or so just to root my sits bones into this chair as i mentioned i had a request for more seated sessions which makes sense as many of us are watching the youtubes on a short break perhaps while you're seated at a desk or um, on a break from driving. I do a lot of all those things. Even, even a lot of our relaxing happens in a seated position these days. So uh, one thing is I do encourage you to stand up and just look around. And another thing is if you can't, that's totally fine. Make, you know, do the best you can with what you have from where you are. I like to say from where I am because that rhymes. Again, taking a breath or so just to root myself into the center of the earth. Checking in with the spine. I'm going to take a couple of deep breaths and a little shoulder shrug. And just letting that go. Wiggling that out a little bit. And again... Just letting go of the arms and the shoulders. And again, breathing in, tensing up a little bit. Or a lot. You can even add the arms and fist if you want. And then just letting that go. I'm going to turn the head slowly to the left and just bring my gaze into my surroundings. Checking in with the eyes and the spine and the shoulders and also just noticing my surroundings coming back to center kind of just taking an inventory uh with my body of my external environment noticing that i'm safe noticing the quality of how I'm interacting with that. Let's do that again to the left. <sighs> Trying 
turning the head, gently noticing what's happening in the body, and with the eyes, noticing what's happening outside the body, and the ears, and the nose, coming back to center, and still the body, turning the head to the right, and still just noticing and checking in. With the eyes looking behind me and coming back to center, I'm going to shake that out and I'm going to close the eyes, bring my awareness into the center of the body and then repeating that but without the eye gaze to the left, noticing with the ears and the nose and the sensations of the body. Gently to the left and then back to center and shaking the shoulders out, keeping the eyes closed if possible and turning the head to the right. Again, same motion as before, but now with the eyes closed and just noticing the differences in my mind, gazing behind the body. Again, with the eyes closed this time, coming back to center, shaking that out. <sighs> I like to add a deep sigh sometimes, if, I, if ever you feel like it, as long as it's not going to get you fired at work or something. I'm going to do that again to the left. Imagining with my mind's eye that I'm repeating that gaze, but keeping my eyes closed and bringing more of my focus into the inside of the body and those sensations coming back to center, shaking that out. And if possible, one more time to the right. If you need to check in with the eyes, that's quite all right. Imagining again with my mind's eye and I'm turning to the right and gazing and turning to the right with my body, but I'm imagining with my mind and I'm gazing, repeating that gaze to the right and then coming back to center. I'm going to open my eyes, shaking that out. I don't know about you, but I find it interesting how difficult it is sometimes to leave my eyes closed and move in a conscious way um, and how, how <sighs> soothing it is to add my gaze and the, uh, the security of that gaze in my body. And I just find it helpful, I suppose, as I'm going through my own work to compare and contrast those feelings in my body of a sharp focus, like on the fingertip, a soft gaze out toward the horizon or even not focused at all and just noticing the peripheral view and then closing my eyes and imagining all of those create different qualities of sensation in my body. I encourage you to play with some of those aspects. I think um, ultimately wellness, fitness, freedom comes a lot to self-awareness and the ability to control our thoughts and our emotions and our actions, our movements, is where for me that sense of freedom and fitness comes from. Along with that, some, some sense of uh, being okay with being okay with wherever I am, right? And giving up, surrendering that, surrendering that need for control. For me, it's a, it's a dynamic interplay or dance between both of those. 
all that said, let's do a little more stretching. I'm going to take my my right hand to my left knee or thigh and my right or my left hand behind the body either touching the sacrum or on the chair right behind or maybe uh, on the ground behind depending on where you're sitting. I'm going to come on the outside of this chair in fact wherever works depending on what you're sitting where you're sitting I'm just using my hands for a little extra torque and then I'm going to twist through the center of the body. I have to be very gentle still with my elbow so I'm actually using my my rear hand a little bit more than I might otherwise and in this case I'm bringing my eye gaze to the pretty far back behind me in fact noticing how far I can see behind me to the left as I twist through the center of the spine and then I'm winding from the top to the bottom eyes first then through shoulders then torso and hips shaking that out and I'm going to take left hand right thigh and right hand behind the body and in this case I'm going to be using my front hand more for torque but you can use both arms for torque and support or whatever makes most sense in your body. And then again, through the core of the body, from the bottom to the top and all the way to the back, gazing with the eyes and noticing how far back I can gaze with my eyes. And then unwinding all of that through the core, eyes first, top to bottom, through the center back to the start. Let's do a little side bending, anchoring this left hip into the chair and just bending. Um, I have some space here so I can just drop this arm, but if you don't have space you could lean out. And you could actually play a little with not anchoring that hip and then anchoring that hip and notice how that Changes the stretch. Keeping that mild. Uh, I'm still still catering to this wounded elbow, healing elbow, I should call it. I shall call it. And then over to the left side. Again, you can experiment with arm out or arm to side and hip anchored on the right or lifting and see how that kind of changes that stretch. Just having fun with playing with that. Coming back to center. Shake that out a little bit. Let's do just the head and neck. Bringing right ear to right shoulder. Maybe using the hands to help smooth that neck. I'm going to actually just bring that hand gently to the neck and just encourage lengthening, bring a little bit of warmth there. This elbow healing has reminded me of some of the subtler body work I used to study and practice. So I'm Encouraged to bring a little more of that back into my own practice. You don't have to force things. You can just gently encourage things. You probably knew that already. Clearly, I do sometimes tend to force things or try too hard. I'm going to alternate ear to shoulder and then chin to shoulder. Changing up that stretch. And then again, ear to shoulder and chin to shoulder. Just dropping both shoulders, getting a nice stretch through the neck. One more time, ear to shoulder and chin to shoulder. And then I'm going to roll through the front, nice and slow, just noticing that shift through the neck all the way through to chin to left shoulder, and then alternating on that side. And I'm going to give that a breath or two to 
adjust since I spent quite a bit of time over on the other side dropping those shoulders and just encouraging the neck to lengthen on that side. <sighs> Deep breaths often help. I'm going to alternate chin to shoulder on the left and ear to shoulder. Just encouraging both shoulders to relax. Noticing how the two sides are different, how the two sides work together to stretch or relax on either side. Pausing on this ear to shoulder to the left, I'm going to arc over the top again, nice and slow, arcing the chin across the top and over to the right. Do that a couple times, just nice and slow, arcing across the top, tracking with the eyes and the chin, and just noticing the neck, listening to the neck, respecting the neck, not forcing anything, just, just inviting and listening. So chin to shoulder on the left, and then arcing across the top. And chin to shoulder on the right. Let's go one more time across the top with the chin. Still just listening, noticing, inviting. Being grateful my glasses didn't fall on the floor. And then let's roll through the bottom half of that circle. Chin to shoulder. couple of times across the bottom at your own pace nice and slow got some some hitches in my giddy up through there where I can feel my my body wanting to kind of skip through that smooth rotation and I'm not gonna force any rotation through there I'm gonna pause at the bottom <sighs> just hanging the head there and then lifting the head coming back to center let's shake that out let's go forward and backward gently a little bit lifting the chin checking in with the spine here just to check the alignment and still making sure not to force anything just noticing and inviting, being patient, taking my time, allowing the neck to stretch back a little bit, and then I'm coming back to center, and then coming to forward, tipping the head forward, allowing that neck chin to come toward the chest, just inviting the back of the neck to get a little longer stretch to speak to me if it wants to speak to me. Ah, feeling grateful, sending some gratitude to my neck. I ask a lot of this neck and in the healing process, I was holding up a, holding up this arm in a sling. So it's been doing some extra work for me lately and it was complaining or letting me know that that was too much and I'm grateful that it's that it's feeling better. I'm going to do just a little rocking in the chair kind of checking in with the pelvis here I can tip forward and backward in the chair and just noticing how that articulates through the spine and all the way up into the neck. If 
fact, let's start a little more subtle down at the bottom of the sacrum. And as, as subtle or not subtle as feels good to you, I'm going to close my eyes for this. You can keep your eyes open or closed, whatever feels good to you. Sometimes I like the orientation of the eyes, as I mentioned. And whatever works to help bring you bring help you bring your awareness into the pelvis here. And just I'm gonna go nice and slow and actually round the spine and stretch through the back all the way and then tipping the pelvis forward, stretching the back, bringing the shoulders back. Let's do a couple of those. Rounding the spine forward, really tipping the pelvis. Tipping the chin, <sighs> and then rounding the spine the other way, pressing the chest forward, rolling, tipping the pelvis forward. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on the chair so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about in case that wasn't clear. So I'm rounding this way, tipping the pelvis. Tipping the chin. I'm going to exaggerate that just for effects you can see. But exaggerating is good. And then tipping the pelvis this way. And then tipping the pelvis this way. So you see this way. Rounding, tipping this way. And flexing, let's call it, tipping this way. So rounding. And then flexing. This is a great exercise to do many times a day to add to your other routines. And again, to whatever degree feels good in your body, there's not a not one way, there's not a right or a wrong way. But just checking in with the spine and inviting some stretching and some flexing. Some relaxing and shake out those shoulders. <sighs> well, going slower sure does take a little bit longer, huh? I hope that was helpful to someone out there. It did feel good in my body, so uh, it's been helpful to me. I thank you for joining me. If you have, please do feel free to put any questions or comments. In the comment section I welcome them um, I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing that you remember that you are worthy of your own unconditional love and we're all in this together so the more we learn to love ourselves the better we are able to love each other and the better this whole thing gets so uh, again I thank you if you want to find ways of connecting with me and supporting me, check out the description. And I thank you if you do. Till next time, peace.